Hi, it's Rhiannon from the Epsom Bakehouse and all this week during Real Bread Week I've been sharing some of my top bread making tips to help you bake a great bread at home. I hope you've been enjoying them. Um, if you haven't seen any of them yet, do go and check out the videos tab on my business page um, and you'll be able to catch up. Today uh, is my last bread making tip for Real Bread Week and I thought I'd talk about the temperature that you need to bake your low fat. Um, and here I have a freshly baked loaf out the oven that smells wonderful. Baking is the crucial kind of final part of making your bread. You don't want to put all that effort into getting the right ingredients, kneading your dough, letting it proof for the right amount of time, shaping it only to um, then bake it at the wrong temperature and not get that great final result you were expecting. So the main thing I'd say about baking bread is that it's going to be in a very hot oven. And that is true for most kind of straight doughs. So that's ones that aren't enriched with butter, lots of butter, fats and sugar. So if you are baking something like a brioche, croissants, things like that, it is going to be a lower temperature. But for this, which is just a, a white flour, water, salt and yeast dough, then the temperature is going to be about 220, 225 degrees centigrade. So it is really hot. And uh, with most ovens, domestic ovens, what the best thing to do is to turn it up as high as you can go and then turn it down by about 10 to 20% um, before you put the, um, the loaf in. So why does it need to be that hot? Well, there's um, two reasons that I can give. Um, first of all, that um, your dough will do a final rise in the, in the oven. And that will happen because um, obviously the yeast have been working away, um, d um, digesting the uh, wheat or whatever grain you've used to make your dough and producing gas which has risen your dough so that gas will expand in the heat and also the water that you put into your dough will turn into steam so in the heat of the oven the bread will do a little final rise as all that gas inside it expands so the temperature needs to be warm enough to um, help that happen the second reason to have a nice high temperature is to get the nice crust a good golden crust on your bread and that will happen because of caramelization of sugars in the dough at the high temperature. If you don't have a high enough temperature, say if you went below 200 degrees, you might find that your loaf turns out a kind of quite pappy um, white colours, uh, not getting that golden crispy crust that you perhaps were looking for. Um, if you've enjoyed watching all of these tips during Real Bread Week, then you can sign up for my newsletter, which um, I will send out lots of tips like this and, and other things such as recipes. Um, you can go to the link in the comments um, uh, on this video and you'll get a link there to sign up to my newsletter. Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed all the tips and if you're baking great bread at home, please do let me know in the comments what you've baked or if you have any other bread making questions. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy baking great bread at home and I will speak to you again soon. Bye.